Welcome back. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this SCCM series. And today we're going to be dealing with configuring uh, a custom client settings for the import protection so we could deploy it out in our field. Really easy to do it. So let's get started. Uh, first thing that we need to do is go to administration. Within administration, we need to go into the client settings because that's the only way that we're going to push out our customized settings for endpoint to our clients on the floor. And on the home tab, we need to go and click on create custom client device settings. Get the wizard or the dialog box. Uh, it's going to want you to do a name. So let's create a name. And I am going to do a BTNHD client device endpoint because that's what we're pushing out right endpoint protection settings these are the settings that i want all my machines on my floor to have and make sure that you pick the correct client type which is for us is endpoint protection if you're doing something else like computer agent computer restart compliant compliance settings client policies just pick the one that you want for this video we're going to be dealing with endpoint because that's what we've been doing so far and we're going to just click OK. We need to customize it. We created it, but we need to customize it. And it's real easy to customize it. So what we need to do is right click on it and we need to go into properties. To get the properties dialog box, you want to get into the import protection section. And you're going to see a lot of device settings. Okay, these are the settings that I'm going to be pushing out into my infrastructure, my environment. So to manage import protection clients or client and computers, I'm going to set that to yes else I'm going to leave as the default we're going to click OK and the next thing that we need to do is deploy so we're going to right click on our new uh, client setting and hit deploy I'm going to get this nice little dialog box to select your collection now the collection that I'm picking for this environment is all Windows 10 systems so let's click on that and as you can see I got a zero so most likely I need to add a, um, a Windows 10 machine to this infrastructure so I can start deploying that stuff and we're going to click OK. Hey guys, the next thing that's going to happen within the SCCM and your workstations inside your environment is that eventually your agent is going to start talking to your SCCM and it's going to start grabbing this uh, new client settings that we just created and it's going to start setting all the import protection stuff and then we're good to go. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.